Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to continue talking about cord cutting technology. What can you do to eliminate cable and save thousands of dollars a year? Uh, let's take a look at the Wintune Dual HD, and I'm going to show you how you can use this to record all your favorite shows uh, without really having to pay for cable. Now, there are several ways where you can get local TV stations on your uh, television. Uh, one of the simplest ways is to just install an HD antenna. And the HD antennas run as inexpensively as 10 to $15 and several hundred dollars, depending on the type of antenna that you're looking to install. Now, while having an antenna is very simple and you don't have to pay for any services and it's a one-time cost, uh, this little solution is going to take it one step further. Uh, this little solution is going to give you something that the HD antenna doesn't, and that's the ability to record the content that you're streaming over the air absolutely free. So let me tell you how about this works, and then we'll see why you should consider it. Now, what we're going to be doing with this is connecting this to my NVIDIA Shield. I'm going to flip this over here on the side, and you can see um, something that says right here that it works with Plex. So I have Plex on my Shield, and the Plex software combined with this is going to allow me to have a really cool media experience. Now, there's other software that you can use, and there's other free software that goes along with this that would allow you to give you the ability to see um, all your local channels as well as do the recording. And that's the key here, right? Uh, so it's being able to record up to two stations at the same time uh, using the streaming solution. Now the cool thing about this is that once you have this connected to your Plex and configured, if you have any other devices in your home, Fire TVs, uh, you know, Fire Sticks that have Plex on it and you're using your your NVIDIA Shield as your Plex server, you don't need HD antennas for any of the other devices because it could leverage this same HD antenna. You heard that right. This will become a full home HD system. So let's see what's involved in the installation. All right, so taking a closer look, uh, things that you're going to get here is you're going to be able to see uh, this is a dual tuner. So you're going to be able to record content. It's going to be HD quality. Matter of fact, as I spoke uh, to the company, they said that whatever uh, is coming in, whatever the signal strength is that at the resolution that's being presented is what this is going to present. So uh, it's HDTV for North America. Record to your PC in the original HD quality, and it basically will connect via USB port. Now, once again, we're going to be connecting this on our NVIDIA Shield. So let's take a look at what's inside, and we'll do the installation. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at what's inside the box. You have a really small HD antenna. Now, the neat thing about this is you can see how this is using a coax cable right here, is that you can actually purchase a stronger antenna if you'd like. We'll try and see what we're going to be able to get with this one, but you can upgrade this and just spend a couple you know, bucks more, 20 30 even $100 in one and get a more powerful antenna, but we'll see what the included antenna will cover. You have this uh, USB cable, which is just an extension to the cable that you have, and this is going to work well, especially if, uh, because it's going to be connecting via USB, you may run into a situation where the actual uh, connection itself is being occupied right next to it by another device, so you'd use this extension cable, which is definitely something that I'm going to be doing. You, it does also come with its remote control. Uh, we're going to be using Plex, so we hope not to need this. And then what we have here is all this additional information, as well as um, a promo code uh, for using Plex. Now, for those of you who have never heard of Plex, Plex is a media center. Uh, it is also a digital video recorder so it does have DVR capabilities and I've been using Plex boy since uh, it first came out uh, I think well, I can't even remember how many years but I've been using it for a very long time and they continue to improve and enhance it and grow it uh, I'm a Plex Pass member so I'm able to get that functionality for free however you can subscribe and purchase the product and I think there's a monthly fee of um, just under $10, it's around 5 bucks, something around that. We'll, we'll get all those details and put it in the common area. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it works. So let's take a closer look at the tuner. So here you have your coax where you would just screw that in. Uh, this is the USB side of it. And this is the, let's open this up. Uh, this is where you would go into your Plex. Now I have a expanded memory card on the side. So what I'm going to be doing is using this cable in order to support that. Uh, but all we'll have to do is uh, install this. There's no software to install. All you do is plug it in, and the uh, Android ecosystem will take it from there. All right, so let's take a look at, first of all, a free app, and then we'll take a look at Plex. 
So the first thing we'll look at is live channels and this is a Google application. We'll open it up. It's going to bring me to the last show that I was looking or the last channel I was looking at. So here's this channel. And the channels are going to vary. Some channels are going to be HD, some of them aren't, and it's all what's the antennas picking up. Uh, we can choose our guide, so you can see the guide here, and uh, this picked up 44 free uh, channels for me. And you can see if you're in Chicago, some of these channels are going to be very familiar, and then there's a lot of them that are just um, available all over the uh, US. So all of this is absolutely free at no cost. Now in addition to having the guide, and let's go ahead and look at something really quick. I'm going to choose, uh, we'll go ahead and do the station, see what kind of content we're getting. And so you can see this is full HD, so you can see how wide it is, and you can see how crisp and clean. And again, this is with the included antenna. I could always add an additional antenna to get even a stronger signal, because I have been noticing that uh, I've gotten some snow in some of the channels, and this is due to the signal strength. Press the center button again, and I could jump to any of the shows that I was at. So very cable-like experience, right, except without the cable cost, right? And that was reasonably fast. Again, for free, that's good. So let's go ahead and we'll go over here and we'll just jump to this channel. And you saw, you can see some of the uh, artifacts there. And that's what I've been seeing with some of the channels. Not with all, but definitely with some. We'll go back here and we'll choose this, uh, this station here. All right? And you can see how this came up nicely. You do have the ability um, at any time to record some of these shows, and you'll notice here you have the record button that you can press, and it will record and it will store for you. All right. So that was free uh, TV using, again, Google's application that is called Live Channels. Let's check out Plex. All right, so now let's take a look at Plex. Now, Plex is going to give you a more premium experience, but it is a pay for service, right? It's that a little bit over uh, $5.99, you know, between 5 and $10 for this uh, service. But let me show you what you get that's different. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my program guide. And you're going to see an experience that is very similar to like Netflix, right? So you look at how nice this is, how things are broken up. You have these categories, things you can watch now, uh, movies. So if I tap this area, it's going to organize this based on movies. And things that are airing, I'll go back. Uh, news, if I want to see everything that's news related, this is all the news. And it's nicely organized. Shows, the shows. And then if you want to see sports, you can choose the sports right here. And this is all the sports. We'll go back to watch now. And let's go ahead and we'll choose this one right here. And that one, and maybe because I'm running the other tuner right now, it's, uh, it's competing with that. But let's go into this one and see. All right. So here you have a show that's coming up. Uh, this one looks like it's HD, so you can see how it's uh, taking up the full screen. And I also have the ability to work in picture-in-picture uh, -picture mode. So if I click this, you notice how it's all the way up on the top. We'll move it so you can see that there. It allows me to go to another station. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this station here, switch it. So we'll wait for this one to load up. And again, the point here is that we're going to be saving you know, several hundreds if not thousands of dollars based on what you subscribe to. So we'll hit this again and we can go down here and let's see what options we have. So here you have to really change the uh, image quality. So play the original, modify things, convert things to a higher, uh, I would say, uh, resolution. Uh, but once again, this is uh, free, uh, free TV. We'll get out of it again. Let's go ahead and look at we'll look at this channel, see if we can stream this one. And we can actually record it. Eh, you know what, I'm not going to record it. Or I could go to the show, so we'll just go to the show. And yeah, we'll skip this. Let's go back one more time. Let me now show you the recording area. So we'll go into the recording schedule. This is everything that I'm recording. And this is all through that free TV service. And then I could choose my recording priority as well. So this is what the applications look like once you have the tuner installed. And one thing I'd probably recommend, given the, uh, how small that antenna is, is really getting a more powerful antenna. I'd probably go with something that's available on Amazon. Uh, I'm going to look at ordering one so that we can see what the difference is when we have a more uh, powerful antenna. But for now, this works really well.
So guys, there you have it. That's uh, my review of the WinTV Dual HD uh, tuner. Uh, I am enjoying uh, the cord cutting experience. I'm saving roughly uh, $1,500 a year. You heard that. We were paying a little bit over uh, $240, $270. Actually, it was like $274, which was kind of ridiculous because we had the triple play. And I eliminated that. And now with uh, YouTube TV, as well as this tuner software, which was not really necessary, but I just wanted to experiment with it, um, I am saving significant uh, bucks when it comes to my uh, TV viewing experience and I have some really cool DVR options. One thing I wanted to mention about this solution uh, when we were doing this uh, review is that the way Plex works is that it allows you to share this tuner across all your Plex clients. So literally what that means is if you have uh, several desktops like we do. So my son has a desktop in his bedroom. My other son has one in his room. I have a phone, tablet, whatever it is. And I log into my Plex client, the software client that's on my phone. I can leverage the tuner that my TV has connected through my NVIDIA Shield, which I think is also super cool. So I don't have to buy a full home antenna. I can actually leverage the one that's coming from my NVIDIA Shield through Plex to as many devices I have in the house. So that's another cool feature. So hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, of cord cutting and using this tuner. If you have any questions, continue to leave them on the bottom. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and the like button. Thanks for watching.